Salutations, Niaja. So I'm coming again to do another book. And this book is going to be about Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks is a phenomenal woman. She's amazing. And she's often considered the mother of the civil rights movement. Okay? So there were a number of people who were working really, really hard to change the way things were in the United States. Okay? And so... Rosa Parks was working with an organization that did so, okay? So it's really important that we remember these people and that we not only remember them, but we commemorate their legacy. Commemorate. What does that mean? That's kind of like a big word, right? Commemorate means to celebrate, okay? And it means to celebrate regularly, okay? So we want to commemorate the memory of Rosa Parks, okay? because she really did a fantastic job. So this biography is written by the author Will Mara. Will Mara is the author, okay? Rosa Parks. Let's see. Let's get started, okay? Meet Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks was an ordinary woman who did something extraordinary. On December 1st, 1955, she refused to give up her seat on a city bus. This simple act of defiance helped launch the civil rights movement in the United States. Today, Rosa is remembered as a true hero. Rosa was born on February 4, 1913 in Tuskegee, Alabama. She went to schools that were for African-American students only. Segregation laws also kept black people out of some restaurants, stores, and other places. Fast back. Rosa had to leave high school to care for her sick mother and grandmother. She later went back to get her diploma. Okay? So if we look here... This is an area. It's Tennessee, Mississippi, Georgia, Alabama, Florida. So this is a map, um, and or this is a segment of a map, um, primarily the southeastern region, kind of, sort of. And this is North Carolina. So she was in this purple section here, Alabama, specifically Tuskegee. Okay? So that's where she was born. Do you remember Miss Chastity? Miss Chastity is also from Alabama. Okay? And remember, um, my dad in Florida, he's down here, and his family was from Georgia, okay? And your Auntie Co is from North Carolina. Let's take a look here and see her walking, okay? When Rosa was 19, she met Raymond Parks, and the two married. They settled in Montgomery, Alabama. In 1943, Rosa joined the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. That's a lot, right? Um, so again, in 1943, Rosa joined the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. That's the NAACP. Soon, she became secretary to the president, Ed Nixon. She also worked in a store. So she was doing two things. She was devoting a lot of her free time to volunteering with the NAACP. And when she wasn't doing that, she was going to work or, or, or supporting her husband. Rosa is walking into the courthouse with Ed Nixon. So a lot of the battles they were fighting had to be decided in court. Okay. Rosa rode a city bus to and from work. Black people could sit only in certain seats. These seats were toward the back of the bus. If all the white seats were full, black passengers had to give up their seats and stand. If there was no place to stand, black people had to get off the bus. In the South, black people had to sit toward the back of the city buses. Okay, so you see? So some of the stuff we kind of take for granted, we get on the bus and we can sit anywhere we choose or we don't have to. It wasn't always like that. And so some of the things when I say we honor our ancestors or we honor their legacy, it's important that we remember that, hey, it wasn't always like that. And people made sacrifices in order for us to enjoy some of the things that we do.
even though there were things that we should have had, it was in, it was it wasn't right. It wasn't a good choice that we weren't able to do it in the beginning. But so trouble on the bus. On December first, nineteen fifty five, Rosa boarded a bus after work. She sat in the seat behind the black section side. As the bus filled the black, you know, black air quote air quote. As the bus filled up with white passengers, the driver moved the sign back. He told Rosa and three other people to give up their seats. Rosa refused. So this is a photo of her being arrested. Um, this photo shows uh, Rosa getting fingerprinted after her arrest. The police took Rosa to the station. She was charged with breaking one of Montgomery's segregation laws. One of Montgomery's segregation laws. Rosa was put in a jail cell until some friends came to bail her out. Fast fact. One of the friends who paid Rosa's bail was the leader of the Montgomery NAACP. Okay, so she made a bad choice and she broke the law and she had to go to, and she had to go to jail. So when they arrested her, they fingerprinted her in order to show what she was doing. Okay, um, in order to show that she had been arrested. Boycott. Okay, after Rosa's arrest, black people in the area were asked to boycott all Montgomery buses. A young minister named Martin Luther King Jr. was chosen to lead the bus boycott. Martin Luther King Jr. planned the boycott with members of the NAACP. So you see here, things didn't just happen. They planned it and they worked together to make it happen, okay? So you see that's Rosa Parks and that's Martin Luther King and that's probably someone from the NAACP. They're all sitting together kind of talking about what needs to happen. The M Montgomery bus boycott began on Monday, December 5th. Thousands of people stayed off the buses. They found other ways to get around town. The bus companies lost a lot of money. Finally, after 381 days, that's over a year because there's only 365 days in the year. So they went for over a year without riding on the bus. Montgomery got rid of its busing segregation laws. So we could talk about racism. It's the policy of treating people wrong. Like it's basically like how we treat people. Segregation is the actual system of laws when it was put into force and it was made what it, when it was enforced and made legal. Okay. So this is black people walked um, to work rather than take the bus. So you see. Even though it would have been easier, it would have been more comfortable, it may have been more convenient, and it would have been quicker for them to ride the bus. To prove a point, they boycotted. It means they avoided using a particular service or good in order to make a point. Okay. After the boycott, black people could sit in any seat on the bus. The boycott was a huge victory for the civil rights movement, but for Rosa and her husband, it was the beginning of a very hard time. They both lost their jobs and were unable to find new ones. In 1957, they moved out of Alabama. They later, they later settled in Detroit, Michigan. So it was really difficult. So sometimes doing the right thing can really cause difficulty and challenge and problems. But guess what? With Christ, all things are possible. So you always want to follow and try to make the best choice possible, okay? Always make good choices, all right? Civil rights leader. The civil rights movement continued to grow. In 1964, President Lyndon B. Johnson signed the Civil Rights Act. It ended segregation at work, at restaurants, at stores, and at other public places. Rosa continued to work for equality for African Americans. See? And you can read that one for yourself. In 1987, Rosa founded the Rosa and Raymond Parks Institute for Self Development. It teaches young people how to reach their life goals. 
She also received many, many awards. In 1996, President Clinton presented her with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. In 1999, she received the Congressional Gold Medal. Rosa wrote a book for young people called My Story and another about her religious faith called Quiet Strength. Because it takes a really, really strong person to make that kind of commitment. So you see, and this is her. This is a former president, President Bill Clinton. And then you see Rosa Parks. Rosa died on October 24, 2005. She was 92 years old. Her coffin was put in the United States Capitol Building in Washington, D.C. It was a great honor. More than 50,000 people came to say goodbye. Rosa is called the mother of the civil rights movement. So you see, this is the Capitol Building. And we've passed it several times when we go downtown. Um, but this is the Capitol Building. Okay. This is a vice president, Al Gore, and it says Rosa Rosa believed that Americans that America should be a land of equality for all people. She forever changed the course of history and is a hero to millions of people. So if it hadn't been for her not giving up her seat, it may it may have come to pass, but maybe not as quickly. But she made the commitment and she did what it took to start pushing um progress forward. So that's one of the reasons why when we get on the bus, you can sit anywhere you want to sit, or we get on the train or the metro, you can sit anywhere you want to sit, regardless of what state we're in. So that's something to be proud of. And it's something that people worked hard to have, even though it's something that we take for granted now. So this is what's called a timeline. Do you see it? Can you see? All right, you can point. You can point to it on the camera. All right. So you can see when she was born. That was 1913. And then can you point to the year that she got married? That's right. Do you see it? 1932 and 1955, she was arrested. 1956, they ended the boycott. 1987, she founded an institute. 1999, she got a Congressional Gold Medal, and in 2005, she died, okay? So you could, were able to look and see that's a timeline of her life, okay? And it goes in chronological order by year. Chronological means that it's in, it's in sequence, okay? It's in proper order, okay? So here's a poem about Rosa Parks. Quietly, without a fuss, she took a seat inside the bus, which helped to end, across the nation, the unfair laws of segregation. So you see that? I think that poem, I think that poem is short and sweet enough that you may be able to memorize it. So you can read it. And when you get a chance, I want you to call me and say it for me, okay? So um, you can be courageous. What are some things that you can do? You can um, be willing to work for change if you believe that change is for the better. Work hard at something you believe it is right. Um, if you believe it is right, even if others try to stop you, always treat people the way you would like to be treated and expect the same in return. All right. So sometimes we make bad choices and we expect compassion, mercy, grace, and forgiveness. But for the most part, because we expect people to give that to us, we have to make sure that we also do it. And first and foremost, that we're always kind, okay? Because it's important. All right, so now some key words are bail, boycott, defiance, and segregation. Okay? Bail, boycott, defiance, segregation. Bail means an amount of money paid to get someone out of jail. Remember, she was fingerprinted and she went to jail. Boycott is refusal to use a product or service. <clears throat> Defiance is standing up to a person or an organization. Let's see, this is her mugshot. 
here is segregation, separating people of different races within a society. Okay? So that's from the what? What part of the book is that called? You're right. It's called the glossary. The glossary. Okay. And in the front, if you wanted to go back, if you wanted to go back and review, we could take a look at what? Table of contents. Okay. And see, it tells us on what page we can find particular information. So now I have a couple quick questions for you. Um, just so you can remember what you've read. Um, and they are as follows. So what are you going to do? Go grab your sheet of paper. You can pause the video if you'd like. Okay. You're going to write your name, date, and the subject. Reading slash social studies. All right. The first question is a comprehension question. I'd like to ask. Okay, what did Rosa Parks do to launch the civil rights movement? Okay, remember every question you need to write a complete sentence. Okay, so based on what we read, what I read to you. Okay, what did Rosa Parks do to launch the civil rights movement? Okay. Did you say she refused to give up her seat? That is correct. Because Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat and was arrested, it launched the civil rights movement. Two. Um, two. What is Rosa Parks' birthday? Hmm. Let's kind of take up. Do you remember? Concentrate, concentrate. Do you want to rewind the video? You can if you like. February 4th, 1913. Good job. Okay. Um, the third question. What is the name of the laws or policies that separated people by race? Are you thinking racism? Well, racism is a policy. It's, 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 the, it's the policy of how we treat people. But the actual legal policy was called segregation. So now, even though we don't live in a segregated society, people can still be racist. Okay. Um, so that's the important thing. Um, well, that's just the thing to remember. Um, four, what is the name of the organization that Rosa Parks worked with to end racism? Four letters. No, five letters. Sorry. Five letters. N-A-A-C-P. It stood for the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Okay? And the last thing is, what is a boycott? I already explained it. Do you remember? Good job. It's when people refuse to use a good or a service. Okay? So I believe that you did a fantastic job. If your dad would like to have you write down these questions and answers, you can do so. I've read them aloud, and if he wants to take his time and have you read them and write them down, he can do so. Um, make sure if you're going to do that, write your name, date, and the subject, which is reading and social studies. This was key figure Rosa Parks. Um, this was about the key figure Rosa Parks, and I'm so happy that you had an opportunity to um, listen to this video. I certainly hope that you were informed. Sweet, sweet, I missed, I miss, I miss you very much. I love you tremendously. I'm gonna post this up, and hopefully your dad will make some time for you to be able to watch it. Okay. Have a great day. Okay. Hugs and kisses. I love you. Infinity to the moon and around every star, around every star and every constellation in the galaxy. Have a good, have a good evening. All right. Or have a good day. Whatever time you listen to it. I love you. Peace.